Today's video is on armamentarium of local anesthesia in dentistry. Let's have a look here. First is dental syringe. It can be aspirating or non-aspirating types. There are various components of the dental syringe which are thumb ring, finger grip, barrel, piston rod, harpoon and threaded hub. Let's talk about the difference between aspirating and non-aspirating dental syringes. In this diagram, the top is the top syringe is for aspirating local anesthetic syringe and the bottom diagram is of non-aspirating syringe. The main difference between these two are if you have a look at the top diagram, we have a piston rod and harpoon is attached to that. The function of this harpoon is that it engages into the rubber stopper of the cartridge which helps the clinician to aspirate. While if you have a look at the non-aspirating syringe, here we do not have a harpoon. Harpoon. The piston rod and is flat and smooth. To maximize safety, we always recommend using aspirating syringes so that we ensure we are not in the blood vessel and that will help to reduce risk of toxicity to the patient. Next is needle. It has various components which are bevel, shaft, hub, syringe adapter and cartridge penetration end. Hub is a plastic or metal piece through which needle is attached to the syringe. Needle gauge. It indicates thickness of the needle. Higher the gauge, thinner will be the needle. Here we can see in this diagram, the 30 gauge needle is thinner than the 27 gauge needle and 27 gauge needle is thinner than 25 gauge needle. It indicates higher the gauge, thinner the needle. And in dentistry, we mostly use 25, 27 and 30 gauge needle. Next is dental carpule or dental cartridge. So we have our forcep, local anesthetic syringe, local anesthetic carpule and needle. Before we start, we have to make sure we have correct type of local anesthetic cartridge or carpule we want to use and also we need to check the expiry date on this carpule as well. 